Hey everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, happy Friday. It's Friday. Um, had a pretty good sleep. I was very tired yesterday for hopping up on the ceiling and doing the um, plastering job. It looks good. I did it, I'm proud of it, and that's over with. I would like to touch it up, but not today. I don't think I can be hopping up on a ladder today. I just, I seen the opportunity yesterday. I felt good. I wanted to do it right now. I'm kind of suffering for that. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. I knew it was going to happen. Um, what else? My mermaid straw cup that I purchased. I want to um, give a second day review. Why is this camera looking crappy? I hope I don't look crappy, but I'm looking crappy now. All right. Anyway, I wanted to give a second day review. This is a part two kind of review, but it's mixed in with other information. Um, cup is doing amazing. I started this journey last night. I put uh, peppermint bark tea. Sometimes I like to have peppermint. I like to have chamomile. I like to have hot liquid that doesn't involve milk during the night. I just, it just, you know, to get up and drink milk during the night and lay back down. I, I'm just not into it. So I like teas like that at night. So what perfect way but to do this. And I started that at eight o'clock last night. It is now 913 over 12 hours and it is still warm. It's drinkable. It is warm. It's not ice cold. It is still warm. It was very hot during the night last night. Every time I got up to use the restroom, I tried, I, I had to, I had to remind myself, you know, it's hot liquid. I don't want to burn myself because that's how good it was. Totally worth 40 bucks. Let me tell you, totally worth it. Um, they have a couple of other colors and other designs. I'm, I'm looking at the black one myself because I would like something like that. But also, I'm, I think I'm going to wait until after the holidays because I don't do any mailing. I don't, I try not to purchase anything uh, during the holidays because packages do get stolen. I just, I just, I'm not into that. So I'd rather wait until after the holiday, January. <coughs> they also, excuse me, they also make a tie-dyed one. They have a tie-dyed one. So I was thinking for like next summer for that one. You know, that's really cool. So anyhow, I like the fact also, and I'm going to just recap this. I like the fact also that it does come with two separate caps. This is the hot liquid. This is the cold liquid. The straw goes through the rubber on the cold liquid. And this is wonderful. Okay. Caps are very well made. I also want to point out the fact this outbeats the Stanley Cup. Not saying it now because the cup on Stanley is iffy and there are issues with that. Nobody really spoke about it. I tried to look it up on other videos on other social medias to see if anybody was talking about the lid situation. I'm not talking about leakage. I'm talking about the chemicals that are made within the cap and the rubberized while drinking hot liquid, okay? Um, to recap that, that's what the issues are. And they said that there's chemicals within the rubber that when it generates with the heat, that it will literally, um, the chemicals will melt into the liquid that you're drinking, like a hot coffee or something. So you really don't want those chemicals. Um, so that's why. But I'm not talking about the leak proof because we know the damn cap leaks. I've saw every video where people are spilling onto. I mean, first of all, you guys are mostly using that for a cold cup. It does also do hot. Only now that, you know, certain certain people are telling you don't use it for hot. So you bought a $50 freaking cup just to use it for cold. This is why I wanted a combo cup to do both things. I want to get the most usage out of something that I'm purchasing. It just makes total sense. And with this, you get the both caps. I think that's wonderful because it's a separate issue. Where Stanley is one cap. So it is adjustable on the top. So you could use it with the straw or then lock it. And then you turn it. And many people, I got news for you, didn't know that you could use that for hot liquid. One woman in the car, I watched it. She said, oh, look, somebody told me when you turn it like that. Oh, look, it's great. Look at that. It's so cool. I could use, hot, you know, the, 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 use it for hot. Knock it off. Don't you do your research before you buy something? You spend all that money. Not my problem. This cup, I also want to tell you this is leak proof. There's a little bit of liquid left. I want to show you. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing around the edges. Nothing around the sides. My table's nice. There's the liquid. Okay? Awesome. You can't, you can't go wrong with that. But people are spilling the Stanley Cup with the straw in it, and it's going, oh, well, that's just the straw. Take the straw out, lock the top, and then do the tip. Okay, 
So you may want to reconsider that Stanley Cup. It's all the hype. I've stated that before. I also put it into my community section on my YouTube. So go into my community section on YouTube. You'll see the post. You will see um, what I put up and uh, read about what to look for. Okay, it makes total sense. You're paying a lot of money for that cup. Okay. Anywho's, speaking of mugs, they also have another one that people keep bragging about. It's called Simple. What is it called? I, it's another cup. It's on Amazon. They want like $29. I also saw a review for that. People seem to be raving about that cup that it seems to be much better, um, especially for the spill proof and just uh, a great bargain in general. Simply, simply, I can't, it's, it's an SM. I know it's an SM. Simply something, simple, simple made, simple made. I think it's called simple made. I think it is. God forgive me, I can't. Uh, you know, I start talking about things and then it's like a half-assed conversation. Sorry about that, I do apologize. But anyhow, if you guys are on social media, you, you, would, you would know about it. Just do your research first. But right now, for Mermaid's Draw, definitely, definitely a great buy. Absolutely great buy. Okay, um, Disney last night. Speaking of uh, something with Disney, also, I wanted to put these cups side by side. I, I have to laugh at this. I think this is the funniest thing. It doesn't even fit in the frame. <laughs> Unless I pull back. But I think that's funny because it is a 30 ounce. Um, would I want a 40 ounce? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I, I would like this. I know. I'm, I'm just one of those people. A 40 ounce. Yes, please make a 40 ounce. <laughs> because I would love one. Um, what else? I'm also thinking of purging some of my older mugs some of my older tumblers because I want to make room for this one. I think I have a new favorite. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, um, for Disney. Disney had their very merry Christmas party last night, which was a total drowning washout. Um, people were wanting um, their money back. And, you know, I can understand people who live out of town. I can understand that. But what Disney was only issuing that I see only on the websites, and I went on DisneyWorld.com, and I actually took the screenshot of it, because people on social media, you just can't believe, oh, we got our money back. Yeah, we got this and we got that. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, pass holders would obviously probably get a shot to do the next party on the next following date. Now, here's the thing. If these things are, here it is. If they're sold out, which I'll be honest with you, I don't think anything at this point is really sold out down there. I just I just don't believe the hype. I'm sorry. I don't believe that the event is totally sold out. I think Disney is really tripping with this. Okay, they could tell you it's sold out, but I don't think so because what I've seen from some of the parks were totally empty. There were not crowds and crowds. You may take a picture of a crowd that's in together, but that crowd is moving. And it gives you the illusion that there's a lot of people there. I'm saying, no, I don't believe it. And certainly I don't believe people on social media. I just can't do that. Oh, we got our money back. We got this and we got that. Now you went to guest services. There was a long line yesterday at Magic Kingdom for guest services. But what they can only offer, which is what I'm going by Disney guidelines, hook or crook, you're not getting your money back. It's refundable, non-refundable. Non That's one. Number two, they could give you, if you are there on your trip, they could give you the next available date for the party. They can let you honor. They will honor that rain date. It's like a rain date. Um, or, which what is what somebody else said that they offered, which I can totally understand, is a day for next year. Not the party, but they're giving you a park hopper day, uh, park hopper pass day for next year. So that's also available. That could be tacked on to your, let's say, next Disney trip. So they'll give you what it is, is that it's kind of like a free day. It is a free day. That I can understand. I've seen that happen. I've actually had that happen back in 2019, where I did have a day. And that day lasted about two to three years. And I used that day in 2019. So we tacked that day on, which was cheaper for me because I, I paid for a less day, but they gave me that extra day. And that was great. So that's also possible, but a refund, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Now, people say that they are issuing refunds and people are getting very 
hopping on board with this, and I can't say I blame them for this, because, I mean, even Disney should realize this, this thing really did suck. It's uh, Jollywood Nights. And the Jollywood Nights people who went are starting to say, hey, wait a minute, I didn't like the party. It was not. It's not worth $180. People seem to be getting their money back on that event. I don't blame that. I don't blame that at all. So it's it's iffy. I, I don't believe anybody. I don't believe everybody. I don't, certainly don't believe anybody on social media with this. But I took the screenshots um, last night and I posted it on that Facebook page. I said, well, listen, I, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know what you're saying is true. I'm not telling you you're a liar, but this is Disney's guidelines right here. This is off the Disney website. So it is non-refundable and they do not issue a refund for these tickets. Okay, I don't know. So that's it on that one. I am smelling paint. Somebody in this building must be painting. And I'm not going to be smelling this all day. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna open my terrace door. It is going to be a whopping 65 degrees. It was beautiful yesterday, which gave me very good a very good uh, weather day to do that plastering on the ceiling because it because it dried. Now to touch it up, I'll do that some other time. But at least then my Thanksgiving is good that I don't have to look up while cooking and see that thing in the ceiling, the patches. And I did have to. Um, take down more of of the pieces. I didn't want to do that, but of course it gets involved because you start taking more pieces and pretty soon I wind up with the whole ceiling like that. But it worked out because I did a plastering job on that two years ago and that's the older pieces that I had to take away in order to redo it nice. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. I, I feel good about it. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to get my butt going and I think I'm going to start um, getting dressed and everything to head outside. I'm, I'm going to, I, I think I need some air. I need to walk. My back right now is hurting because of yesterday, but I feel good at doing it. It was, it's a, it's a good hurt. It's a good hurt. So I feel that it wasn't, um, it's not just a waste of me waking up and feeling like crap in the morning, which is what I've been feeling for quite some time. And I know the disease has a toll on that and you know the age don't help either but when your body's telling you you know what Maureen not today just just hang out today you're not doing anything it kind of ruins the day so I was grateful to do something constructive yesterday I really was but today I want out of here so because <laughs> it is going to be 65 65 degrees so just take advantage of it um tonight's going to be an easy night because it's pizza night thank goodness i just shoved the pizza in the oven and it's going to be a nice little pizza night i'm i'm good i'm good i'm grateful for that i'm i'm good today's today's going to be a good day so if i see anything outside if i see anything with primark anything about bags or anything i'll let you know right now i'm just going to enjoy the rest of my liquid in my new mermaid straw cup i love the logo I love it. I just, I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that it is skid resistant on the bottom because when I put it on the dresser, I knew damn well it wasn't going to move. That's good. <clears throat> okay, people, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Love to all. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. If anything comes up during the day, if I discover anything, I'll let you know. All right. Love to all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.